They came from the world of 360-degree cameras, uh, a gimmick, people said. Then, they started making action cameras. And with the Insta360 Ace Pro 2, the game didn't just change. It was flipped upside down. But here's the secret, the one nobody is talking about yet. The Ace Pro 2, that 8K AI-powered beast that just sent shockwaves through the entire industry, it wasn't a final move. It was a warning shot. Today, we're not just talking about the camera that's here. We're talking about the camera that's coming. The one being developed in secret. The one that's designed not just to compete, but to end the war. This is the complete story of the Insta360 Ace Pro 3. To understand the revolution that's coming, you have to understand the weapon that's already on the field. The Insta360 Ace Pro 2. For a 30-minute video, we can't just glance at the specs. We have to dissect them. We have to understand the philosophy. What did Insta360 do? They didn't try to just build a better GoPro. They built a smarter camera. Let's start with the sensor. It's a massive 1-slash-1.3-inch sensor. In the world of action cameras, sensor size is everything. More size means more light. More light means more detail, better colors, and cleaner footage. But a big sensor is useless if the glass in front of it is cheap. So, Insta360 made a call. They partnered with a name that, in the camera world, is legendary. Leica. This isn't just a branding deal. This is co-engineered glass. It means that from the very first photon of light that enters the camera, it's being handled by the best. This partnership resulted in spectacular clarity, reduced glare, and color science that just feels real. And then, they couple that sensor and that lens with 8K video. Now let's stop. The average person hears 8K and says, but my TV is 4K. They're missing the point. 8K isn't for watching. 8K is for editing. When you shoot in 8K, you have a canvas so massive, you can digitally zoom in, crop your shot, reframe a horizontal video into a vertical social media clip, and still have a final image that is sharper than a native 4K camera. It's like having multiple cameras in one. It's flexibility. It's freedom. But the sensor and the 8K resolution that's not even a secret weapon. Not really. The real magic is the brain. Insta360 didn't just use a standard processor. They built a dedicated 5 nanometer AI chip, a neural processing unit inside an action camera. Why? Because this chip runs the single most game-changing feature we've seen in a decade, pure video. Let's be honest. For years, all action cameras, all of them, have been terrible in low light. The footage is grainy, it's muddy, the colors are awful. You hit sunset, you put the camera away. Pure video changes the rules of night. When you hit that record button in the dark, the AI chip comes to life. It is actively analyzing every single frame in real time. It performs AI-powered noise reduction. It enhances the brightness intelligently and it boosts the dynamic range. Look at this. On the left is the competition. It's a dark, grainy mess. You can barely make out the subject. On the right is the Ace Pro 2 with pure video. It's clean. It's bright. You can see the colors. It looks like it was shot hours earlier. This one feature fundamentally changes when and where you can film. This AI chip does more. It powers the best active HDR on the market. You know the shot. You're biking in the woods. The sky is bright white, and the trail is a dark, crushed black shadow. You can't see either. Active HDR powered by the AI chip, films both at once and merges them. But unlike old HDR, it does it while you're moving without creating weird ghosting artifacts. The result? You see the beautiful blue sky and you see the detail in the shadows on the trail. It's how your eyes see the world. And then, there are the creator-focused smart features that this AI chip unlocks. Think about the 2.4-inch flip screen. This isn't the tiny, front-facing preview screen of its competitors. This is a massive, fully articulating vlogging screen. You can frame yourself perfectly. You can see exactly what you're shooting. It's designed for the creator, not just the athlete. How about pause and resume recording? Why has this been so hard? You're filming a travel vlog. You film a clip. You stop. You walk to a new spot. You film another clip. You stop. At the end of the day, you have 100 tiny files on your SD card. With the Ace Pro 2, you hit record. You get your shot. You hit pause. The camera is still on, but not recording. You get to the new spot. You hit resume. 
At the end of the day, you have one single file. Your edit is done. How about gesture control? You've got the camera mounted on your helmet or on the front of your surfboard. You can't reach the button. With the Ace Pro 2, you just hold up your palm. The camera sees it and starts recording. You give the P sign, it snaps a photo. This is what we mean by smart. The camera is working for you. And the final piece of the AI puzzle, the AI highlights assistant. The camera's AI is so smart, it analyzes your footage and camera. It automatically finds the peak moments, the jump, the crash, the laugh. When you connect to the app, it doesn't just show you a pile of footage. It shows you a ready-to-share edit. It finds the best parts and even edits them to the beat of the music. The workflow isn't shoot, import, sift, edit, export, share. It's shoot, connect, share. So, let's recap. A massive sensor, like a glass. 8K resolution for reframing. An AI chip that unlocks God-tier low light. Perfect HDR and features that actually save you time. The Insta 360 Ace Pro 2 is, by all accounts, nearly perfect. But it's not. It's not perfect. And the engineers at Insta360 know it. This is the part of the story where the Ace Pro 3 begins. The Ace Pro 2 is a masterpiece, but it's a first-generation masterpiece. And it has three critical problems that open the door for a successor. Problem 1. The heat. Physics is a harsh mistress. When you put an 8K sensor and a high-powered 5 nanometer AI chip inside a tiny, waterproof box, you generate heat. The Ace Pro 2 can get warm. On a hot day, if you try to record 8K for 30 minutes straight, it might just stop. The thermal management is good, but it's not magical. This is the single biggest bottleneck holding back its power. The 8K slash 30. The 4K slash 120. It's all limited by heat. Problem 2. The audio. The audio on the Ace Pro 2 is good. The AI wind reduction is clever, but it's still. Action camera audio. It can't compete with a dedicated external microphone. And in the vlogging world, audio isn't half the video. Audio is all of the video. If your audio is bad, they click away. The competitor, DJI, has this locked down with their integrated wireless mic system. Insta360 is still a step behind. Problem 3. The competition never sleeps. GoPro will respond. DJI will respond. They're not going to let Insta360 own the smart cam market. They will come out with a Hero 14, an Osmo Action 6, and they will throw everything they have at it. Insta360 knows they can't just release an Ace Pro 2S. Their next move has to be the final move. It has to be a checkmate. So what is the Insta360 Ace Pro 3? We have been digging. We have been talking to insiders. We've been looking at patent filings, at supply chain reports, and at the logical technological leaps. This isn't just a wish list. This is the blueprint. First, they must solve the heat. How? By upgrading the brain. The 5 nanometer AI chip was phase one. Phase two is a new custom built 3 nanometer AI chip. This is a quantum leap. A 3 nanometer chip is not just faster. It is exponentially more power efficient. More efficiency means less heat. And less heat unlocks the true potential of that Leica sensor. This is where we get the first killer feature of the Ace Pro 3. 8K video at 60 frames per second. Think about that. The cinematic standard of 24 frames, the broadcast standard of 30, and now the buttery smoothness of 60 frames. But in 8K, you will be able to shoot epic high-resolution footage and slow it down 50% and still have the smoothest, sharpest footage on the planet. This 3 nanometer chip doesn't stop there. It will power 4K at 240 frames per second. This is extreme slow motion. The kind of slow motion reserved for $10,000 cinema cameras. A drop of water hitting a puddle, a skateboard deck rotating, a bird's wings, all captured in stunning 4K clarity. The new chip won't just be faster. It will be smarter. The AI will get a massive upgrade. Forget AI highlights assistant. That's child's play. We are predicting a true in-camera AI editor. Imagine this. You shoot all day. Skiing, surfing, VL, ogging. You get back to your hotel. You plug the Ace Pro 3 into the wall to charge. You don't even open your phone. The camera's AI chip spends the next hour analyzing all your footage. It finds the best shots. It finds your voice. 
it finds a music and it renders in camera three different videos. A 60 second vertical edit for TikTok and Reels. A five minute horizontal vlog for YouTube. And a 30 second hero montage. By the time you wake up, your phone has a notification. Your videos are ready. This is the end of editing for 90% of people. It's the shoot in post workflow made real. Next, we address the other big problem, audio. Insta360 will not, cannot rely on internal mics again. Our prediction, they will take a page from DJI and improve it. We're not just talking about a built-in wireless mic receiver. We are predicting AI audio. The Ace Pro 3 will have an advanced multi-mic array, but powered by the new AI chip. It will perform real-time source separation. What does that mean? It means you can stand in a crowded, noisy New York street and tell the camera, isolate my voice. The AI will erase the traffic, erase the wind, erase the crowd, and pull only your voice forward, making it sound like you're in a studio. It will feature AI audio zoom. As you zoom the camera, the microphones will zoom too, focusing on your subject and rejecting off-axis sound. This is how you beat DJI. You don't just add a mic. You make the camera the mic. And finally, the holy grail. The one feature that camera nerds have been dreaming of and the one that would end the action camera war forever. A. Global shutter. Every camera you own, your phone, your GoPro, your current action cam, it uses a rolling shutter. It means the sensor reads the image from top to bottom, one line at a time. This is why, when you pan quickly, buildings look like they're leaning. It's why fast-moving propellers or spokes look bent. It's that weird jello effect. A global shutter reads the entire sensor at the exact same instant. No more jello. No more bent propellers. No more motion blur. Just perfect crystal clear motion. It is the single most expensive and difficult piece of technology to implement in a small sensor. It would be an engineering marvel. And it's exactly the kind of checkmate Move Insta360 would pull. So let's paint the picture of the Insta360 Ace Pro 3. A new 3 nanometer AI chip that eliminates overheating. That chip unlocks 8K at 60 frames per second and 4K at 240. A true in-camera AI editor that delivers ready-to-post videos for you. AI-powered audio that isolates your voice from any crowd without an external mic. And the holy grail, a global shutter sensor that eliminates all motion distortion. This is not a camera. This is the end of the line. It's the ultimate camera. When we see it, the Ace Pro 2 is still new. Insta360 is letting it breathe. They're letting the competition try to respond. But the three nanometer chips are already in production. The AI models are already being trained. The patents are already filed. We are not looking at 2028. We are not looking at 2027. We are looking at the end of next year. Insta360 is not a camera company. It is an AI robotics company that just happens to make cameras. The Ace Pro 2 was to show the world what was possible. The Ace Pro 3 will be to show the world that there is no one else. The king is not safe. The throne is being stalked. And the next challenger isn't just bringing a better sensor. It's bringing intelligence. This is the revolution and you are watching it happen in real time. If you want to be the first to know when the first real leak drops, when the first real footage from this camera appears, you need to be subscribed to this channel. We will be tracking it every single day. The game is about to change one last time. Now, tell me in the comments below. We've laid out the blueprint. What do we miss? What is the one feature you absolutely need? 